everybody. Uh, well, and anybody that's new here, uh, glad to see you guys came in to ch uh, check this out today. Uh, it's going to be a little bit chillier today than it, it was the last time. Um, basically, we got, well, it's pretty safe to say we have really bad weather coming. Uh, it was 70 yesterday, and tomorrow is going to be like a 34 or 32 for a high. Yeah, put that through your head for a second. It's going to suck because it's going to reset spring basically. Uh, probably another week here. So join me on the struggle bus, but today it should still, the water should still be warm. So if it's still warm out, we will catch some fish. So obviously if you're seeing this, we got some fish.
Alright guys, this is, this is the bait I showed you in that video um, that I was talking about. It's the crappie scrub. Uh, I think Kalen's makes it, but real light jig, crappie scrub, real hard to beat. Okay, so that was the biggest fish of the day. Um, I did actually end up getting like, I think I kept like five from that spot or six or something like that. Um, but it was so windy as you guys can hear. Like I said, I'm sorry about that. I still have to invest in like a better mic setup and like I gotta learn more about that stuff so I can get it so it sounds better. I know it sounds horrible when it's like blasting you in the ears. Uh, I hope you guys don't ever get like you're listening with headphones on and get blasted but otherwise uh yeah like i said I, I kept a couple of those from there i ended up going to a different spot um that had the the name of the game for the day was find the warm water that was still warm from it being so cold the day before so that was the big thing that i had to do is find warm water and once i did i actually ended up i kept like i think i got 16 or 18 of them or something like that uh, they were all about medium size, 10 to 11 inches. Uh, that's basically what I keep. I keep 10 to 12s. Uh, nothing bigger, nothing smaller. As you guys seen, I threw a bunch of those uh, like nine, nine and a halfs back. Um, but one thing I wanted to show you guys was the bait I was using. Because a lot of you guys ask me, like randomly, <laughs> um, what what baits I'm using for the day, and. Uh, the one that I was using that day was this little guy right here. So it is, I, I said it was Kalen's. Um, it's 1.75 uh, TT crappie scrub. Um, and the color is June bug chartreuse. Um, if you guys wanna see that yourself. I'm gonna, I'll link it below in the description for you guys if I can find it. Otherwise, uh, a lot of a lot of local bait stores carry them. Um, the place I go to all the time, Lakeside Bait and Tackle, um, right off of 50 in Delavan, they have it. Uh, he usually has a full supply of them. So if you're looking for them, you can, look, you can go there, give him a call and order them from him uh, if I don't have it linked below. If I have a link, link below, obviously you guys can get it there, so but that's the one I use basically all day long. Otherwise I used uh, my little jig, which some of you guys were, I had a couple people ask me about those. And I mean, I think you can get them anywhere, but what it is, is I have this little bag of these and I want to show you guys if they focus so what it is is it's like a, a 132nd ounce jig head with a like a number 10 
or number eight sickle hook. So the hook is actually pretty big for how small the jig head is. And the sickle hook, I have noticed, so like if you guys watch, like go back through this video and watch, you'll see I like start pulling and you'll see like the, the rod moving and you're like, set the hook. <laughs> what I'm doing, and it's something that I do it unconsciously and it's really hard to explain to get people to understand what I'm doing is with crappie, they have that really soft mouth and when you start pulling, it actually starts driving the hook into a spot and they can't spit it out at that point but by getting it stuck into that spot usually it's a little further in the mouth then if you just pop them right away a lot of times you'll just rip it right out of their mouth and I've I, I think I had a couple I didn't put them in there um, I had like five or six hook sets where I literally was like got them and it just rips it right out of their mouth so I, you have to slow your thinking down when you're crappie fishing. Uh, it's not always just rip and set the hook. I mean, it's not bass fishing. They don't have this big bony mouth that you can drive a hook into. Uh, it's very soft and very hard to make sure you get that hook in there. But those little sickle hooks, like I said, where you can get the, the, the Kalen's grubs at Lakeside, he carries those. Uh, I don't remember the name of the... You'd have to just ask him. Brad at Lakeside Bait and Tackle... Uh, if you look them up online, you can find them on there or on Facebook. Um, but just ask them about those little sickle jigs that come with other baits or something like that. I can't remember who has them. But you just have to ask him. But I hope that helps you guys out a little bit because I know a couple guys asked me, you know, what jigs I was using and, like, how light they are. And in the springtime, the, the key to me is fall rate. How how slow does the bait fall through the water and how slow can I reel it in? Um, sometimes you can, I mean, when the water gets real warm real quick, sometimes you can crank things in and those fish will slam them. And that's a great day. I mean, it's even more fun when you can just cast retrieve fish. Like that's the really fun thing. Um, actually, I'll put a video up here of a day just like that. Uh, two weeks ago when we got our first warm up, all the fish crammed into a shallow spot. There was hundreds of them there, and I caught so many on one plastic, it was insane. So go watch that video if you guys want to see some crazy action, uh, like cast after cast after cast action. It was it was fun day. Uh, it was a fun day. I, lo I like having fun like that on the water when I'm catching fish. So I'm going to stop rambling. I just wanted to get this little segment in here to try and help some of you guys out. The big thing is, is um, it's all dependent on water temp location and what time in that area uh, the water warmed up. Uh, sometimes if it warms up real quick, fish will move in, spawn, and then it'll get cold again, and then they're gone. And then they're done doing the shallow stuff. So you gotta be quick, you gotta get on top of it, and basically take advantage of that warm spot. Uh, if it's not warm, you're just going to have to wait. So <laughs> I hope everything helps you guys out. Like I said, I'm going to try and stop rambling here. I hope it helps you guys uh, catch some more fish. And obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you're new here, please just remember to.